Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nikki with MontanaCrochetCreations.com. For today's tutorial, I have this really cute and fun crochet flamingo applique that we're going to do be doing here. I'm a nut for everything flamingo. They're my favorite bird, so I thought it would be really fun to create this. Um, it is an applique, but I'm going to use mine as a flamingo coaster that's going to sit on my desk for like my coffee mug and things like that. So you'll need a few things for this project. You're going to need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Um, I got this one from Furls. They sent it to me. I am not sure how I feel about it. Um, it's got a really sharp prominent hook on it and I guess that's really good. Um, once you get the hang of it, it'll keep you from slipping your yarn, but I'm still trying to get the hang of it. I do like the way it feels in my hand though. You're also going to need a pair of craft scissors for clipping any yarn tails. And then you're going to need some yarn needles for weaving in your yarn ends. Um, I'm going to weave mine in as we go, just so that way I don't have a ton to weave in at the very end. You're going to use, um, if you want to use this as an applique, then you can just use it with a number four worsted weight yarn. Um, but using it as a coaster, I'm using cotton yarn so that way it'll absorb some moisture and everything because I plan on using this all spring on all summer probably actually all year long so you'll need like a darker pink color here and you're also going to need a scrap piece of the light pink here you're going to need just a very very small scrap piece of white and a very small amount of black so this is definitely a really good yarn buster for any sort of scraps and everything like that that you have to kind of get that out of the, your collection. So go ahead and grab all of your supplies and we'll get started on this cute flamingo applique. All right, let's get started on this flamingo applique. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with our magic circle. So the way I like to do my magic circle is I like to hold it in my hand, wrap it around my pointer and middle finger, and then I go underneath I grab my yarn, pull under this first piece of yarn there, and I make a little twist in it, just like this, and then I grab my yarn and pull it through. And that's how I create my magic circle. Um, I'll put a link up in the right-hand corner for you. I'll make it a little bit easier for you to understand. It breaks it down a little bit better. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain two, so we've got one and two. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna place two double crochet inside this magic circle. So we're yarning over and inserting our hook into this circle right here, drawing up our loop. So now we've got our three loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two again. And we're gonna do one more double crochet here. Oops, our second double crochet. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to half double crochet. So we're yarning over, inserting our hook into that circle, drawing up a loop, and you can see we still have our three loops here. But instead of going through two, we are yarning over and pulling through all three of those um, loops that's on our hook right there. Now we are going to place four single crochet. So we're yarning over, going into our circle, pulling through, whoops, sorry, I said single, not half. So we are inserting our hook into that circle, drawing up our loop, yarning over and pulling through two. So we're gonna do four of those. There's one, two, three, and now we have four. So what we're doing is we're working on the body here of the flamingo. So now we are going to half double crochet still inside this circle. So go ahead and oops, grab that. And then we are going to place two double crochet inside this circle here. There's one. And now we have two. Well, maybe. There's two. Now we are going to half double crochet again. So 
So yarning over and going in and placing our half double crochet. And then we are going to place four single crochet inside this magic circle. There's one, two, three, and now we have four. We're basically just repeating those steps that we did for the very first part of that. Now we're going to half double crochet in this magic circle here. And we're going to pull our tail a little bit tighter. And we're going to come over here to this very first um, double crochet that we created right here. If you look, you can see that chain two. And then we have our double crochet. So we're going to come over to that and slip stitch. And now we can pull our magic circle tight. So now what we have here, you can see we've got the little body that's forming. We'll pull it a little bit tighter and we'll close that circle up a little bit more. And so now you can see we've got kind of like that little oval shape that um, goes with the shape of the body of the flamingo. So what we're going to do for round two is we are going to chain two here. So one and two, and this is not going to count as our first stitch. So we are going to place two double crochet in this chain two space right here. So again, remember yarning over, going into that chain two space, drawing up our loop, pulling through two and pulling through two. So we're going to place one more inside that chain two space. more yarn and now we are going to double crochet in the next five stitches so there's one two three four have five. There we go. So now we're going to place two double crochet in the next three stitches here. So we're going to place two in each of the next three stitches. One and two. And then we're going to place two double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're placing two double crochet in the next stitch. Now we're going to double crochet in the next five. And this is five right here. Then the next thing that we're going to do is place two double crochet in this very last stitch. And if you see this stitch here, that is not our counting stitch. That is where we slip stitched over. So we're going to place two double crochet in this very last stitch here. We're going to come over, slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet. And then for round three, we are going to chain one, and then we're gonna place two double crochet in 14 stitches. So we're going back into that chain one space and placing two double crochet in the next 14 stitches. Okay, so I have my two double crochet in 14 stitches. So this very next stitch, we're going to place a double crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch. So we're placing our double crochet here. And then now we're going to half double crochet in this same stitch. Now we're going to single crochet in three stitches. And then we're going to single crochet and half double crochet in the very last stitch here. 
So we've got our single crochet, half double crochet. Let's come over, slip stitch to the top of that very first stitch that we had there. Okay. So now we've got kind of like our top flat portion of our flamingo applique that we have here. So I'm done with the body and we're actually going to fasten off right here because like I said this is an applique but I'm actually going to make mine just big enough to be a coaster for my desk. So I'm going to take my scissors and clip that and then just fasten off. Now you can either go ahead right now and weave in your yarn tails or you can wait till the very end. I'm going to go ahead and weave my yarn tail in. So what I'm going to do is take my yarn needle here and I am going to thread that on and I'm just going to come around here to the back and just kind of loop through. <coughs> Sorry, you can hear the corgi. Somebody's driving by. And then just kind of go through there and I'm going to weave back and forth at least three times. I like to do that so that way my stitches do not come undone whenever I wash this, especially since I'm going to be using this as a coaster. So let's go ahead, there's my third one, and I'm just going to clip my yarn here. This new crochet hook I got is very wobbly, it, can, it rolls around a lot. So I'm also going to go over here and I'm just going to weave in the yarn tail right here where we created that magic circle, the back of the flamingo body. So then that way I don't have to worry about it here in a few minutes. Because we're still going to have plenty of yarn tails to weave in. So what I do when I weave in my magic circle is I just kind of follow it around where I did all of my stitches, like three times. There we go. And then I'll turn it and I'll go back across one more time just to kind of secure that in there. Take my scissors and clip that yarn. Now what we're going to do is we are going to attach our flamingo head. So um, let's just get started on that. And you can see it's already kind of starting to take shape for the body a little bit. All right, so let's start working on this flamingo head. So I'm gonna go eight stitches over from where I fastened off. And I'm going to attach my yarn. Make sure you leave a yarn tail long enough to where you can weave that in. There you go. And now I'm going to chain 22. All right, I have my chain of 22, so we're gonna come over four chains from our hook here. So we have one, two, three, and four. And we're going to double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook here. Place our double crochet. And then we are going to triple crochet in the next two stitches. So to triple crochet, we're yarning over twice, inserting our hook into that stitch or that chain. We're gonna draw up our loop and we have four loops on our hook. So we're gonna draw up, yarn over and pull through two of those loops here. We're going to yarn over and pull through two more loops and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops. That's our triple crochet. We'll do that one more time. One into the next chain, drawing up our loop. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two again. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place a double crochet in this very next stitch. So we're make the head a little bit, start pinching it off a little bit. There we go. And then now we're going to place or we're going to single crochet two stitches together for a total of three times. So we're taking these two stitches and making them into one stitch. So we're going to insert our hook into that next chain and draw up our loop. Normally we would yarn over and go through both of those, but we're not going to. We're going into that next chain and drawing up our loop and then we're yarning over and coming through both. So we're going to repeat that. So we're going to do that for a total of three times here. And then we've got one more. There we go. And so now we are going to place one single crochet in the next five stitches. 
right, and here's my fifth. So now we're going to place two single crochet in this next stitch here. We'll place two half double crochet in this next stitch. two double crochet in this next stitch. That's just making the bottom portion of the neck right here. And then we're gonna double crochet in these very last two stitches here. So grab that one. There's one, and then in this very last stitch, place our last double crochet. That's where we joined our yarn. And then we're gonna come over to the next stitch. We're going to slip stitch to attach that. And what I like to do is I like to go a slip stitch one more time and then fasten off my work. So that way it's attached a little bit better. And so attach that, fasten it off. And then now you can see we've got our flamingo head here, the way it's laying. It's a little wonky right now, but we'll get it um, cold pressed and then we'll get it to flatten out. So there we are, and you can see he's gonna lay just like this, and he's gonna be really cute. Um, the more that you use him, or if you're gonna use it as an applique, then you'll be able to manipulate the head and the neck exactly the way that you want it. Um, but then if you're gonna do like what I'm going to do and you're gonna use it as a coaster, the more you use it, the more it'll flatten out. So I'm just gonna take my yarn tail off camera and I'm gonna weave, go ahead and weave that in. And then we will get started on the beak and the leg. Let's get started on the beak. So I have my black yarn here and I know it's gonna be a little hard to see because we're kind of on a dark background, but hopefully you'll be able to see that. And we're gonna take our black yarn and we're going to attach it to the top portion of the flamingo head. So basically this chain four that we have right here that we skipped when we started, um, when we ended our chain 22, that's where I'm going to attach my black yarn. Again, I'm leaving a yarn tail here so I can weave in my end because there's going to be lots of yarn tails to weave in at the end of this, unless you're doing what I'm doing and you're going along and weaving them in as you go. So let's get this attached. And what we're going to do now is we're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four and five. Now we are going to single crochet the first two stitches together. So we're going into that first chain from our hook and drawing up our loop. And then we're going into our next stitch here, drawing up our loop, maybe, and then coming through all three of those. Now we are going to single crochet in the next stitch there we go and then we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch which is our very last one so we're going to half double crochet there and so we're going to come over two stitches away from where we started so there's one and two and we're going to attach our black yarn here we're just going to fasten off and as you can see that's created our little black beak right here so let's go ahead and fasten that off and clip our yarn tail. And then let's get those yarn ends woven. All right, so let's start on the legs here. And you can see he's already kind of like taken place, which is really cute. Um, if you want, you can either do like a little tiny, cute little button hot glue it to that if you want, or you can just do like an embroiderer's knot, uh, which is what I'm going to do for the little eye up here. So. Um, that's completely up to you on what, how you want your eye to look on your flamingo applique. So let's flip him over. And what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the placement that we want for our legs. So we're doing a straight leg and we're doing a bent leg. And I think I kind of want my legs just, mm, I want to say maybe like in this area right here. So from this where we attached our head, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five stitches over. And I think that's where I'm going to attach my light pink yarn here. 
And again, make sure you leave a tail long enough to where you can weave that in at the very end of this. And we got our chain once we have attached that. And what we're going to do next, get you a little tighter. What we're going to do next for our straight leg is we are going to chain 18. And then this is 18. And we're going to double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook again. So we're going to count back. We've got one, two, three, and we're going into this fourth chain. We're placing a double crochet here. It kind of creates the little bottom portion of the foot. And I actually think traditional flamingos, maybe their legs might be black, possibly, but I like the way it looks with the light pink leg. Um, now we are going to slip stitch back to the very beginning here and we're just going to attach it to our body. So let's just go ahead and slip stitch in every chain all the way back to the beginning and get that attached. Once you get it attached, then you can fasten off and then we will start working on the leg that is bent. All right, so we have our straight leg attached and then I went in and wove in my yarn tails uh, so I don't have to worry about it. Now we're going to come one stitch over, literally like the very next stitch, and we're going to attach our pink yarn again. Again, make sure you leave a yarn tail large enough to weave in at the very end of this. And we're going to attach that yarn. So now we're going to chain 24. And the reason we're chaining 24 is because this leg is going to have a bend in it, so it needs to be a little bit bigger. Got 21, whoops. 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now we're going to come in the fourth chain from our hook here. So one, two, three, four, and we're double crocheting in that fourth chain. And now we are going to slip stitch in 11 of these chains here. You can hear all the snow melting off of our roof. We've had so much snow here lately. Um, it was really building up on the metal roof, but now it's like starting to melt off and you can hear it sloughing down the sides of our house. Or actually that was 11. Okay, so now we've slip stitched into our 11th. So now we're going to place two single crochet in this next stitch right here. This is going to create our bend in our little flamingo knee. There we go. And now we're just going to slip stitch in the last remaining stitches here. Slip stitch into that. And then we're gonna come over into the space where we attached our yarn and slip stitch. And we're just going to fasten off. We're going to clip our yarn and then we're going to weave in our yarn tail. And then when we come back, I'll show you where I'm going to put um, the little white piece that goes right here on the little flamingo beak. All right, I have my white yarn. It's just a scrap piece of white yarn. Um, it's just whatever I could find laying around. So I've got that threaded on my needle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and just kind of pull through. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail here. And I'm just going to go down into the very bottom of this last stitch right here. And I'm just going to pull that across here. You can see it kind of makes that white little line, but I think I'm gonna go back over it one more time, just so that way it's nice and secure on there. And I'm gonna go back through that exact same spot where I just went through the bottom. And then I'm going to kind of weave through the back here and bring it up to this piece where we um, started our white yarn. And then what I'm going to do is come over here. I'm just going to tie it in a knot and then I'm going to weave in my yarn tails uh, at the very end of this. And then I am going to go in and create my little, um, Embroider's knot right here, kind of where the eye goes. But that is what I'm going to do next. I'm just gonna do that off camera just because it's so much smaller and it's a little hard to see. But, um, so go ahead and finish that. And I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. And there we have it. There is our cute little flamingo applique. Um, this would be really adorable sewn onto like a cotton dishcloth 
or something like that uh, for the kitchen. It would be really cute on a blanket. You could put it at the bottom of a handmade sweater, anything like that. Um, or you can just do what I'm going to do and just have it kind of sitting on my desk and it's going to be my coaster for my drinks um, that I have whenever I'm in here working. So anyway, I absolutely adore flamingos. They're like my favorite bird on the planet. So anytime I get a chance to make anything flamingo at all, I jump on it. So um, I just thought that this would be a really cute little thing to kind of create this little flamingo applique right here. So anyway, I hope that you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you like and comment on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe here because I'm posting videos every single week. And I think possibly next week I'm going to start trying to post like a couple of times a week. So make sure that you guys hit that, um, ring that notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any of those. And that's it. So um, I love you guys all so very much and I will see you in my next video.